plate recognition cameras, they are billed as tools to help law enforcement fight crime. We've reported on dozens of cases where the technology helped catch fugitives or find stolen cars. But there's a problem. Some of the cameras can't see the new state license plates at night. It's a story News 2's Andy Cordan broke three weeks ago, and tonight he shows us it's not clear when this issue will be resolved. For the last few weeks, News 2 has been investigating. How do these new plates interact with LPR cameras at night? These cameras are all over the state, in police departments, municipalities, and homeowners associations. Well, we took our test to the streets to find out. Using a new plate on a pickup truck. I drive by this flock LPR camera on a major road in Williamson County. I pass by at 629. According to the Williamson County Sheriff's Department, this is what the camera captures. You can see the outline of the truck, but the license plate, it's all washed out. I drive by again. 633. 637. 640. Each time I pass, the camera sees the new blue plate as a big white blur. The LPR technician collecting the data from the camera tells me no blue plates were spotted driving by the camera in the time I was conducting my experiment. However, the sheriff's department says older plates with a white background and dark letters were visible. He didn't see me four different times. Yeah. Tim Holman is an electrical engineer. What you saw on the, on the test you did with the flock safety camera is very similar to what I've seen on my own cameras. Holman created his own LPR camera to help fight crime in his neighborhood. Uh, because of the very poor contrast between the background and the lettering of the new plates, it's very, very hard to get good, consistent reads under every angle and under every lighting condition. When told of my results, Holman's not surprised. That is completely consistent with what I'm seeing on my own camera system. I can still easily see out-of-state plates. I can see the old plates. But no matter how I try to adjust my camera settings on my own system, I do not capture the new plates, except under very rare circumstances, but never consistently. Holman tells me the new plates must be visible to LPR cameras at night. He says too many cities, police departments, and HOAs have already invested too much money in this crime-fighting technology for these images to be anything less than crystal clear. I think that's a big concern. I think that is a public safety concern. Also, the issue is you have a lot of small towns, a lot of communities, even neighborhoods that have purchased LPR systems and now what they're going to find is those systems don't work at night. And it's not as if the criminals will be ignorant of that. They'll know about it and they'll take advantage of it. And so again, it's a matter of public safety. In Williamson County, Andy Cordan, News 2. Now, a revenue spokesperson sent an email saying, quote, based on our current understanding, nighttime readability appears to vary significantly by LPR model and is not limited to one specific color formula. Flock Safety, the maker of some LPR cameras being used by agencies, did not respond to requests for an update today. The company previously told us it is working on fixing those software issues.